Hello everyone, welcome to a new video by Talent Battle. In this video, we are going to check in detail step-by-step -step process to apply for TCS NQT off-campus drive for 2023 batch. So in our previous live video, we had already announced that TCS has launched its off-campus drive for 2023 batch. This drive is open for all the students across the country from all colleges and all streams and branches. Uh, we have already discussed the eligibility criteria, the test pattern in our previous video. So this video will be specifically for uh, to give more details about the registration process. What are the steps exactly which need to be followed? Because if you do not follow the registration process properly, if you make any mistake, uh, you will probably not get the hall ticket for the exam. Okay. So what I recommend you is uh, when you are applying for the drive, make sure you watch this video and uh, simultaneously you can apply for the drive by completing each step which is uh, covered in this particular video so you can watch the video pause it complete the process again play the video so on okay so before we proceed make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon because we'll be uploading a lot of tcs preparation videos as well on this particular channel okay one more important thing, if you are preparing for TCS, if you want to prepare from scratch, from basic to advanced, uh, if you are preparing for uh, TCS NQT, then we are starting with the TCS NQT specific batch from 30th of June, 30th of June this month. Okay. So it is a combination of live and recorded lectures, which consist of 40, 50 plus hours of live TCS specific lectures and recorded TCS specific lectures are also covered recorded C, C++, Java, Python, DSA, aptitude, quant reasoning, verbal ability, everything is covered in this particular package. Apart from that, technical personal interview preparation and mock interview is also covered. So this particular package cost is 1999 and there is a discount coupon code mentioned in the description of this particular video. Okay. So let us start now. We are going to uh, provide you a detailed step-by-step -step process. So once you click on the link given by me in the description of the video, you land on this particular page of TCS official website. Okay. So the registration end date is 22nd July. You need to apply before 22nd July to be eligible for this particular drive. So click on register today. So sometimes the website might take a little bit of time. So you need to be patient because a lot of thousands of students apply for TCS. Okay. So you'll be on this particular TCS next step portal. Okay. Now there are two ways. Suppose you have previously created an account on this particular TCS next step website, then you need to click on login. Okay. But if you're new to this particular website, then you need to click on register now. So I'll show you the step-by-step -step process. I'll click on register now. Okay. Once you click on register now, it will ask you to select category. So you need to select IT. Do not select BPS. Okay. Select IT. Okay. Once you click on IT, uh, I'll clear this data. Okay. So once you click on IT, you need to fill your name, date of birth, gender, email ID, mobile number, your college name. Okay. 99.9% .9 of the colleges are already there in this list. If your college is not there in the list, there is an option called other. You can select that your qualification year of passing should be 2023. This drive is specifically for 2023 batch only your nearest TCS office. You can select and you need to enter password as per TCS password policy. If you, so if you check your password should be at least eight characters and not more than 15 characters. It should have a uppercase, lowercase, one number and one special character as well. So there are some other conditions as well. Okay. So uh, you can just select your password, re-enter password, select a security question, your answer to the security question, and you need to type this captcha and click submit. Okay. So now I'll fill all this particular data and I'll click on submit and I'll show you what happens next. Now I have filled all the details. Okay. I have filled all the details. So I'll just click on submit. So once you click on submit, it will ask you to confirm your email ID and mobile number. I'll click on confirm. Okay. Once you click on confirm, so you will, uh, it will generate a reference ID. So it will be either a CT ID or a DT ID. Don't worry. Any ID it can generate randomly and it does not have any particular relevance. So don't worry if you have got CT ID or DT ID or say if you have got DT ID, don't ask why you didn't get CT ID or vice versa. Okay. So just click on continue. It will ask you to enter the password again. 
once you enter the password yes now you have logged in to the tcs next step portal now suppose you already had an account and you used your login id and password you will directly come on this particular page okay next click on application form now you need to fill this particular form very carefully sometimes it might take time to load okay click on start filling the form okay now see guys your name and your personal details are already prefilled you need to fill other details like father's name okay your permanent address your present address if your present address and permanent address are same then you can click on yes okay otherwise you need to enter two different addresses and then click on save and continue so once you click on save and continue so you'll get a green tick mark so that means that personal details i have perfectly filled everything now i need to fill my academic and work experience details so i'll click on continue okay now i have to select my institute name highest qualification and year of passing make sure your highest qualification and year of passing are matching the eligibility criteria so for example this particular drive b b tech m e m tech m c a m s c and m s people can apply year of passing should be 2023 only click on save and continue so after this now most important thing is you need to select the course duration for your graduation okay now your graduation duration should be 4 years so if you are graduating in 2023 that means a 4 year graduation you might have started in 2019 so i will go to 2019 i'll select june and first june 2019 and my graduation will be in 2023 so i'll select 10th june 2023 okay so first june 19 to 10th june 23 four years are completed in this select full time select your specialization i'll select computer science for example i'll enter the marks so you have to enter the total marks and obtained in all semesters divided by the maximum marks okay so i am entering randomly so here it generates the percentage automatically click on save and continue here you can select whether you had done 12th diploma or both i'll select 12th specializations will be science i'll enter my institute name board name course duration now most important thing please mention your 12th duration in your 12th grade results please do not enter your 11th duration in the same so what does it mean basically so your graduation was from 19 to 23 right so your 12th standard would be from 18 to 19 right so i will go to 2018 i'll go to 2018 so may 1st may 2018 okay to suppose 15th may 2019 now most important is this duration should not overlap with your graduation duration or your 10th standard duration so suppose we have entered that we started graduation from 1st june 19 so my um, 12th standard has ended on 15th may 19 so it is not overlapping okay so full time marks i'll enter marks okay please enter this properly according to your mark sheet okay now i have to enter my standard 10th 10th grade marks okay so i'll enter the um, school name so board i will select course duration so if i am doing my completing my 12th in 19 that means i completed my 10th in 17 so 16 to 17th was my 10th grade so i'll enter suppose 1st april 16 okay to 30th april 17 okay marks i will enter over here next save and continue have you done any other course i would select no if you have done then you can select yes and you need to enter that but i'll select no right now okay have you taken any nascom assessment for competency test if you have taken yes otherwise no work experience do you have any relevant work experience no this is for those who have done uh, work or worked in a company after their diploma you can select yes and enter they have specifically mentioned that please do not mention internship trainings as relevant work experience okay so don't enter internships over here save and continue now there are some declarations have you do you have any break in studies no have you done any other courses no if you have then you have to declare okay you have to mention the reason over here okay and if there are valid reasons they will allow you do you have any pending backlog currently i'll select no if you have yes then you can select yes and select the number of backlogs live backlogs here there is a text box wherein you can enter your academic projects now there is a declaration you have taken all the subject marks into consideration for calculation yes the marks obtained 
in entered by you for each of the above mentioned academic qualifications has been secured in first attempt yes you have considered only marks obtained during normal duration yes you have completed each of the above mentioned academic in the stipulated time this should be yes you have declared break in studies yes you have not attended tca selection process in last 6 months yes even if you have given paid in qt you have to select yes you have read tcs eligibility criteria yes i click on i agree save and continue okay here i have to select the nationality okay india here you can add the languages which you know currently i will enter only one language but you can enter all the languages which you can which you know either which you can speak read write and also enter your mother tongue if you have got any language certifications please enter here like german you have learned any foreign language you can enter it here otherwise click on save and continue if you have any achievement scholarship then you can enter those details in this text box if you have any certification then you can enter your certification details over here click save and continue enter your first name and last name because this would be printed on the tcs identity card if you get selected for tcs okay here i will select my um, blood group okay now i have to upload my photo and cv so once you upload your photo and cv over here click on save and continue now there are some security details are you involved in any pending close civil or criminal case no this would be also no okay here have you appeared for tcs test interview earlier no okay i'll click on i agree i'll enter the place and i will click on submit application form if you want to preview your application you can preview it from this particular link i'll click on submit once you click on submit application form you will get this particular pop up would you like to apply for tcs recruitment drive just click on yes okay and here you can see greetings from tcs talent acquisition team thank you for considering tcs as the career opportunity by applying to tcs entry level selection process now most important point you need to select the test mode over here so either you can select in center or you can select remote okay so in center is you have to move to the nearest tcs ion exam center and then you can give exam over there remote is you can give exam from your home or college okay what we recommend is if you have a good internet connection and a good system then you can give from the remote option but if you don't want to take risk of your computer uh, hardware or any technical issues or internet issues then it is better you give the exam from the center so i'll select in center then it will ask me to select the nearest center okay so i can select one particular nearest center to me okay so suppose if i select kolhapur okay and i can apply okay so suppose if i select remote then it will not give me any other option so now i'll select remote and i'll click on apply okay so i'll get this message you have applied for the recruitment drive so if i click on track my application you can check applied for drive so this status should be applied for drive so here your tcs registration process ends okay so this is the way you need to apply for the tcs registration process okay one more important announcement if you are preparing for tcs you can prepare with our tcs nqt specific uh, master class which is starting from 30th of june so we are uh, preparing students based on the latest integrated test pattern by tcs okay even if you are zero in aptitude or coding you can start with our foundation trainings along with tcs specific trainings more than 50 plus hours of live lectures along with 220 plus hours of recorded conceptual lectures are covered mock interviews interview preparation everything is covered in this particular package the link for that is there in the description of this particular video i hope you have liked this video if you have any more queries you can comment on this particular video thank you